Welcome everyone, this is More Than Money, I'm Mark Manella. Stephen Balance. Glad you're with us today. One of the things that, um, as a father, you, you wonder, you know, before I was a father, I wondered what it would it take to be a successful father. Of course, mm -hmm. we think about our parents, how they parented us, and we, we check off all the things that we wouldn't do that they did. Okay. You know, okay. Right? I yeah. Mean, if, if we're honest with ourselves. And, and then, then we do them. And then we turn into our parents. <laughs> but then we also look at the stuff that they did that was good, and we try to remember that. Mm. I remember one time after my son Mark, my first child was born, that I thought about what would be the two main characteristics of being a, su a successful parent, uh, mm. a good dad. And I came up with two. The first okay. was I'd want to know that my children were all raised and accepted Jesus Christ as their Savior. Okay. You know, so That's raised good. from a biblical perspective, understanding God's Word, His salvation, and accepting that. That would be the first and foremost. Good. And second, that they'd all be avid readers. Okay. And the reason okay. for that was my mom read to me when I was a child. I can remember laying on her bed and going through Swiss Family Robinson picture oh, book. Yeah. And there's the crab biting the boy's toe, you know, <laughs> and, and stuff like that. But I can remember her reading to me, and I was a, mm. I was a good reader. I was reading uh, when everybody else wasn't in school. You know, I was okay. already reading. Okay. And because of that, whenever there, something in life came up, I could go find a book, a how-to book or an adventure book or something. I could mm. find a book and actually grow because of it. Okay. So I learned to read early, and my reading skills obviously progressed as I got older. And reading has given me the, the opening, the doorway to almost anything I wanted to do in life, mm. you know, from playing music to to uh, financial advisory services, okay. you know, I had the ability to learn. So those were the two things. Mm. And with that said, I thought, you know, in this day and age, nobody seems to be reading much anymore. Yeah. And, uh, or not, that's not true, or it doesn't seem to be as much. Most people would say, mm. well, I just Googled it and watched the video. Yeah. You know, I, I, my car's that. not running right. I just Googled it and <laughs> watched the video. Yeah. Now, that's great, and I have to admit that I like that, too. I, I, yeah. I remember, do, I do that a lot myself. It's convenient. But there's something about having a book on the shelf that you've read, mm. you remember there's solutions there or ideas, and going to that book. There's also a, I don't know, a, a certain environment or uh, experience, that would be the word, about reading a book. It's not just yeah. watching, you're turning the pages, you smell the book, you know, yeah. there's the yeah. physical, the visual, even the uh, other senses. Yeah. involved when you're doing that and because of that it brings it all in mm. it, it makes it more real and it helps rewire your brain a little bit better yeah. so with that said today I, what I'd like to do is share some books that I think have been well I've read and I liked and actually grown from and mm. I believe would be very impactful to somebody in their their walk with God from a stewardship, from an investment, from a uh, just a money uh, and possession hmm. and eternity perspective. Huh, sounds like a good so, name for a book, doesn't it? <laughs> Speaking right. of that, Money, Possessions, and Eternity yeah. <laughs> by Ray so, D. Alcorn. Uh, as, as I'm sure you guys have noticed, uh, we do have a small stack in the back. Um, and not in that stack, though, I noticed, Mark, is the Bible. Well, of course, because the Bible is, without needing to be said, the number one book. Exactly. Everything that's in these books that is of value comes from the Bible. Exactly. And if it's not from the Bible, we have to question what the, the value of it. Now, I'm not saying you can't, though, being wise as a serpent, uh, worldly knowledge isn't important. It's very important. In fact, I might have a book or two here about that, mm. about ideas from the stock market or even just uh, manage your money. But the most valuable book is the Bible. So we, God's Word on the Bible. Comprise books that are not the Bible, because that's, I mean, sure. with this show, that it's kind of an obvious that the Bible is our go-to. But these are more, um, 
I don't want to say worldly. No, books. not more worldly because almost all these books will take you back to the yeah. Bible one way or okay. another. All true wisdom there you go. is based in the Bible and comes from that. And from there we can der derive many different ideas and ways to improve our life and to impact others. The first book I'd really like to recommend, and a lot of people um, have read this, but it's by Randy Alcorn. I have to say Randy Alcorn to me is one of the uh, foundational leaders in, in writing about God and money. Mm, okay. You know, he came out with this, I don't know when it was originally out, but it was many, many years ago, and we used it at the NACFC as a teaching guide okay. as part of the CFCA designation when, I, when we okay. originally designed that. And the whole book, it covers everything about God, money, and possessions, mm. except biblical responsible investing. Oh, Randy okay. was not involved in that movement at that time, and uh, but everything else is covered here. So uh, if you if you had to pick one book to read about money, possessions, and eternity, it would be Money, Possessions, and Eternity <laughs> by Randy Alcorn. Now I admit, <laughs> almost shamefully, now that uh, I've I haven't read the book, but I've seen a lot of Randy's videos. Oh sure, <laughs> sure, sure. And, and you have the book. I, I do have the, I do have the book. Yes. Yeah. Plus, you got the condensed version of it, God oh, yeah. and Money, yep. by Randy Alcorn, which is really good. Um, I'd like to share another book, and this book uh, you probably can't even get anymore. It's by uh, Bone, and it's uh, Protecting Your Income and Your Family's Future. A lot of people uh, talk about insurances, and they say, well, there's nothing in the Bible about life insurance or health insurance or long-term care and okay. yeah you know there's nothing in the Bible about automobiles either but <laughs> you're still driving one but actually there are concepts in the Bible and I think uh, many 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 years ago 20 probably over 20 years ago I read this book and I was very impressed with him and how he handled the Word of God and talking about insurances when they should when they are biblically sound when they're not when it's being abused so, and a lot of people say, well, why? I don't want to read about insurances. You might want to. You might want to look at, at, at this. If you, if you can find it, it's called Protecting Your Income and Your Family's Future by William Brock Film. Hmm. Again, it's on my favorites list, uh, whether you can get it or not. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Another one of my favorite books, which isn't so much a guidebook, but it causes you to look inside yourself, to think about, about your, your finances from a life perspective, is by Russ Crossan. Russ Crossan wrote this book, again, many years ago, A Life Well Spent. Well worth reading. It'll cause you to start questioning how you're making decisions, why you're making those decisions in life, and how to have a better life through making better decisions regarding your money in your family. Oh, you know? okay. It's an excellent book. I know. Again, we'll go back to another book on, on money, but this one's more... Oh, about giving, yeah. and uh, hopefully you've read it. If you haven't, it's called The Treasure Principle, a Bible study, Unlocking the Secrets of Joyful Giving, and it's by my favorite money yeah. author, Randy, Randy Alcorn. Alcorn. Right. And it's an easy book, and it's a great book, and it's a small book, so it's not, here you have Randy Alcorn <laughs> on steroids. Here you have <laughs> Randy Alcorn getting to the point real quick. <laughs> Both books, well worth reading. Oh. Actually, part of the treasure principle or the concepts of that are also in money, possession, and eternity, yeah. which is really good. Uh, you know, we, we can't ever talk about, huh? We got a couple more, too. Oh, we got there's quite so, a there's few. just so many. Yeah, there's a lot of good books out yeah. there. You can't talk about. You can't talk about money and God without mm. talk without bringing in Ron Blue. Yeah. Ron Blue has written many many books on the on the subject. Uh, he goes way back, uh, way back writing books, and uh, and he still continues. But one of one of the favorites, most people's favorite, is Master Your Money by Ron Blue. Um, this is a revised one uh, with uh, Michelle Blue in it, uh, and it's 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 just an excellent book. Mm. It covers all sorts of topics and uh, well worth reading. So when people say to me, Mark, I don't know what, where to go or what to read, um, it, it's well well worth taking the time. I'm going to grab a few You've more here. Covered. Yeah, here's a couple of contemporary writers. This one is Cassandra Lehman. Cassandra Lehman actually was an investment advisor and came to the Lord as an investment advisor because of the trails she found. And she wrote okay. a book about it called I Found Jesus in the Stock Market. 
and it's an excellent book, and it also talks about biblical responsible investing and her her travels to Christ through her investments. Oh, wow. Uh, another w- book I like in contemporary is The oh, Diamond yeah. of Life by, I would say he's partially a mentor, but he's a gentleman that I admire, and uh, I think he has the best art, uh, wisdom regarding financial planning from a biblical point mm. of view. And it, this is called The Diamond of Life, The Five Pieces of Success and Significant by Mick Owens. Now, this is a good list of books that we're throwing out here. Yeah. And we've yeah. actually had uh, an interview with Mick Owens on, on More Than Money oh, here, too. So Many many interviews. Every one yeah. of these people have, except Thone, I believe, we've had on. Yeah, so make sure you go back and, and catch those interviews. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, well, we did either on the radio or on, on More Than Money. This one is by a good friend of mine, Alan Ross. I really like it, Beyond World Class. It talks about how we are to be beyond world class in everything we do. And he he talks about it from a business point of view. And I like that. And it's well worth reading, especially for entrepreneurs and Christian Christian entrepreneurs. Mm. Uh, One book that I'm going to throw in that has has nothing specifically to do with investing or possessions, but has everything to do with it because it has to do with your relationship with God. And there's a chapter in here, uh, The Blessedness of Possessing Nothing. It's not what what it sounds like, but (laughs) it's an incredible. In fact, I'm going to read read one little thing from the bottom. I quote this, by the way, in my book that's coming out soon. Um, Let me, me, I should have marked this page so I kind of got to it a little quicker. But at the end of this chapter, he, he writes... A prayer after each Mm. chapter. Listen to this. O God, I have tasted thy goodness, and it has both satisfied me and made me thirsty for more. I am painfully conscious of my need for further grace. Mm. I am ashamed of my lack of desire, O God, the triune God. I want to want thee. I long to be filled with longing. I thirst to be made more thirsty. Still, show me thy glory. I pray thee that I may know thee indeed. Begin in mercy a new work of love within me. Mm. Say to my soul, rise up, my love, my fair, my fair God, my fair one, and come say. Then give me grace to Mm. rise and follow thee up from thy misty lowland where I have wandered so long. In Jesus' name. Mm. Actually, that was the wrong one. (laughs) (laughs) But wasn't that powerful? (laughs) Here it is. Father, I want to know thee, but my coward heart fear, fears to give up its toys. Ooh. I cannot part with them without inward bleeding, and I do not Ooh. try to hide from thee the terror of the parting. I come trembling, but I do come. Please root for me from my heart all those things that I have cherished so long and which have become a very part of my living self so that thou mayest enter and dwell there without arrival then shalt thou make the place of thy feet glorious then shall my heart have no need of the sun to shine in it for thyself will be the light of it and there shall be no night there Mm. Wow! is that powerful this is a great book for deepening your relationship with Jesus Christ it's called The Pursuit of God by A.W. Tozer now um, I I know we're being told yes the words on the books are backwards um, yeah, I, that's it's kind of a camera thing so, yeah but sorry about what that. we're gonna do after the video is um, on our Facebook page under this video we're gonna go ahead and put a list oh, of, sure. of all these books so that you can check them out and uh, if you want to check them out check them out on you know Amazon or well Amazon get a, Smile get a, yeah Amazon Smile yeah. go to Amazon Smile. And, and set up your smile. A lot of people don't know about smile. It's a yeah. way to shop on Amazon and have donations go to your favorite charities. More than money, hopefully, is the one you want yeah. it to go to. Now, one of those books that's not on Amazon Smile yet, and one of them that's, uh, we're all out of books, but yeah. uh, we haven't mentioned is your book ah. that's coming yeah. out soon. Yeah, yeah. So, The book on investing with biblical integrity will yeah. be out in the next 45 days. It'll be on Amazon. It'll be at the bookstores. It'll be, you'll be able yeah. to order it from more than money directly or uh, from Integrity Investors directly. You'll be able yeah. to get it almost anywhere. Hopefully, everywhere you turn, you see it. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the things that you want to uh, keep in mind is for the first 25, so far it's 25, yeah. first 25 people that request a book, 
Mark here is kind enough. He's going to give out a free signed copy to you. So uh, For the first 25 people who yeah. notify us that they want a book. Yeah. yeah. So uh, slots are getting taken up, so make sure that uh, you get your... Uh, Get your request in. Yeah, I look so. forward. I look forward to your feedback on it, and hopefully, it'll make your your uh, must uh, read yeah. list soon. Yeah. And uh, I just wanted to throw out some stuff because there is a lot of books out there, and this is just a sampling. I, I wanted to, these are books I can recommend, along with dozens of others. And as we go along, once my book's published, we're going to have a list of books that we're going to continuously add to reading lists and and website lists and all sorts yeah. of resources. So uh, we thank you for tuning in. I hope all these books bless you. Yeah. And uh, remember, underneath this video, we're going to go ahead and post a list of all these uh, so that you can, you know, strengthen your relationship with God and hopefully your finances as well. Yes. <laughs> Make it a little better. Yeah. Yeah, that's our goal, to help you realize that life is so much more than money. God bless everyone.